You seem to have a very large amount of pizza for one man. But you also seem to have a very well, large amount of gut for one man. Bills, so it's time for a few commercials. Uh, we'll go outside again. The vampire may push his body to the peak of human prowess for a short time for the price of blood. So, I think there's a... I think it's in Carson's apartment. There's a big locked chest that I've never gotten into before. These are like lock picking eight or something. I can remember it's there. Maybe we'll have to go back and see what's in there. I'm curious. Um, I think he's in the same apartment lot as uh, the ones that Kuro is in. Big difficulty of eight. I don't know what my uh, thing is when it's up. Lock picking five, so you need to get up three more le lock picking levels before you can get in there, even with blood buff. Um, hmm. You've got unbreakable bottles, they're magic. It is stupid. Very stupid, Carson. Really, who talks to themselves? Um, yeah, so, if you saw that poster, Malia, that's his password. Password accepted, Amalia. Entering menu. Thank you. Location. McGee is hiding in the tattoo parlour in Santa Monica. Good to know. Where's the key? Don't forget, the key on the, to the tattoo parlour is on top of the TV. Surely he would have taken the key with him. But no, it's still sat here, so... Can't really complain, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get in. Ooh, that's less very bright. Um, there we go. I think we've got everything from in here now. Picked up, there was a ring under the table. There was a book on the table as well. What one was it? Um, this one, I think. Unknown. We need that research skill before we can read it. I see to be saying something about don't copy that floppy, <laughs> but you can't possibly be reading it right. Um, this one was computers for grandma. Um, I think it gives you extra computer knowledge. Let's read that. What is it now? Um, Hacking. So our hacking's up to three instead of um, two. Oh, I could uh, level up whilst I'm here. I think we've got enough to put, to put a few bits up. Um, investigation. What do we need to put up to get research up? Scholarship or intelligence? Let me put scholarship up because we want to get um, persuasion up as well. I don't think there's anything I can do with two. That doesn't look like it. Ten? Oh, I guess it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay. So now I've got some more persuasion going on. I might go and uh, try and talk to that guy outside again to see what he says. Um, see whether we can get some money off him this time. Because you want to have as much money as you want. As you can have, even. Because money tends to help out a lot. Let's see. Go this way. Hello again. Are you going to talk to me now? 
could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. Great, I'm a little short sure on. Um, I'll be alright then. No, we haven't got enough. Oh, going the wrong way. Getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> Tattoo parlor. This is the uh, lovely Santa Monica tattoo parlor. We were also missing a ceiling. I'm seeing it as a recurring theme around here. We've got broken cans and broken lights and broken telephones, which are currently ringing at me. Can't steal anything from the thing because it's been stupid. Look at all the pretty tattoos. Oh, that one. I want God on my back. I haven't got a tattoo. I want a tattoo, but I haven't got one yet. Phone is ringing. That's the phone. Hello? Hello? Might I speak with Mr. McGee? Apparently not, because the phone just flew out of my hand and back onto the wall. Um, doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? No, actually. I'm looking for him myself. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? Um... He's just an old friend. Could you answer a few questions I'd for me? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. Gimbal's a little bit, um, odd. Okay. Picture the body parts, probably for Gimbal. See, Gimbal's prosthetics. Catch for modelling. Been modelling for Gimbal. Gimbal's just down here. Makes the journey seem shorter. Hey, Cup, what's going on? Not quite a bit. And the amazing ability to turn around without actually moving your feet. Yes, may I help you? Hello, I spoke to you on the phone a little while ago. Oh, right, right, I'll buzz you in. Thanks. Oh, I've been recording for a little bit. Um, let's go in. About 40 minutes. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. Who are you? Because your name isn't up on the sign at all. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Stan the man. Um, let's talk about Mr. McGee. Hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. Stanley, your tie seems to be glitching out a little bit. What exactly is going on? <laughs> but he didn't show up. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of, um, resume, 